guys and welcome to the family fudge today i'm sharing some of my favorite healthy lunch ideas so stay tuned before we get started i would love it if you'd hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you love lunch ideas now let's get started i'm kicking things off with my turkey bacon avocado lunch box for this i'm starting with two pieces of whole grain bread this is the kind with these seeds in it it's super yummy and to this i'm going to add a little bit of avocado now you could use slices of avocado but i have mashed here whatever you prefer so I'm going to go ahead and spread this out. I have a good thick layer on here. And then on the other side of the bread, I'm actually going to use mayo instead. Now if you'd like, you can definitely put avocado on both sides. It's totally up to you. Next up is the turkey. I'm gonna add several slices of a smoked turkey here. I really like the smoked turkey with the bacon. I think it goes really well together. Now for the bacon, this is pre-cooked and I've already crumbled it up. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top. I'm gonna top this with one slice of Havarti cheese and then I'm gonna add lots of lettuce. I really love extra lettuce on my sandwiches. It adds a nice crunch and a fresh flavor. So now I'm going to go ahead and close up my sandwich and cut it into three pieces. And I really like to cut it like this so I can fit it nicely into my lunchbox. And there it is, it looks so yummy. Now to go along with this, I'm also gonna add some carrots and some cucumbers. That's such a fun, yummy combination. And then in this little compartment, I'm also going to add lots of fresh blueberries. I love blueberries, they are so tasty. And there you have it, there's lunch idea number one. Next up, I'm sharing my barbecue chicken wrap lunch. It is so good. For this, I'm going to start by preparing my veggies. Now, this is actually a chopped salad kit from the grocery store, and this one is in the barbecue ranch flavor. So there's lettuce and cabbage in there. There's carrots. It is so tasty. And it comes with a barbecue ranch dressing, so I just add a little bit in there. I'm gonna give this a big stir and then set it aside. Next, I'm gonna take my flatbread, and I'm using this kind from the grocery store. It's called Flat Out, and it's a multi-grain one with only 100 calories, lots of fiber and protein in there. Next, I'm going to make a sauce for this wrap, and I'm going to combine my favorite barbecue sauce with some yogurt-based ranch dressing. This is about one teaspoon of each, I'm just gonna mix it together and then spread it out all over my flatbread. This adds so much flavor to this wrap but it really doesn't add a ton of calories. And now it's time for the chicken. Now I really like to use rotisserie chicken for this if I have some leftover from the night before, but when I don't, just some regular chicken, deli meat is totally fine. And now it's time for our veggies. I pile as much as I can in there. I just wanna make sure that it's not too much because I still have to wrap it up. This part can get a little bit messy. I do like to go ahead and cut this on the diagonal and then to keep it together, I usually like to add some sandwich picks. So now I'm gonna get these guys into my lunch box and to go along with that, I'm also going to add some slices of carrot. And then in this corner, one of my favorite treats, this is a vanilla Greek yogurt. And I like to top it with a little bit of granola. This is a pumpkin seed flax granola. And then just a sprinkling of blueberry. Oh yes, and I also added a little baby bell cheese as well. Okay guys, now this next lunch is probably one of my absolute favorites because it includes peanut butter. I'm a huge fan of the traditional PB&J, but today I'm actually making peanut butter and honey instead. So for this, I'm going to start with my multi-grain bread. This is the same bread that I used before. Now to this, I'm going to add a nice schmear of peanut butter, and this is the all-natural creamy style because that's what I prefer. But of course, if you like chunky, feel free to use that. And now it's time for the honey. I actually picked up this little honey bear on my last trip to Utah and it's actually really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some on my bread. Not too much, I don't want it to be all squishing out and getting all messy for me. So now I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. And then again, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this into thirds because that's the best way to fit it into my lunchbox. And there they are, so cute, so tasty. Now to go along with this, I'm also gonna add a cheese, but this is actually a string cheese. 
and a cheddar cheese in one. I love that duo cheese stick. To go along with this, I'm also gonna put some celery sticks because I think that goes so well with peanut butter. And then for my fruit today, I'm also gonna add some strawberries. And lastly, I have a special little treat. In this container, I just have a few dark chocolate raisins. These are so yummy and definitely a treat. And there you have it, lunch idea number three. Next up, I am sharing a cheese and crackers lunch, kind of like a grown-up Lunchable. I'm gonna start with some of these yummy crackers. These are the reduced fat and salt whole wheat crackers. And to this, I'm gonna add one slice of Havarti cheese. I'm also gonna add one little wedge of this light, creamy Swiss cheese. And then I'm also going to add a Baby Bell cheese. Now this lunch is definitely based off of the cheese and crackers lunch that you can get at Starbucks. I'm a big fan of those. For the veggie today, I'm gonna add more cucumbers. I'm such a big fan of cucumbers. They are so refreshing and crunchy. And then speaking of crunchy, for the fruit today, I'm just gonna add in this tiny little Fuji apple. And of course, I love it because it's a Minnie Mouse apple. I get these at Costco. And there you have it guys, four super simple, on the healthier side lunches. These are definitely what I would choose to eat. You guys know I love sharing lots of fun lunch ideas, but these lunches are actually what I prefer to eat. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite lunch combination is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.